What we're going to be discussing today is finding the absolute uncertainty from a data set. So in this case, we have, we have one, two, three, four, five values of the diameter of a wire. So somebody has measured the diameter of a wire at five different places and has produced the following numbers. In an exam question, these values could be given in a table, for example, or they could be just listed um, as, uh, as they are here. In practice, this really doesn't matter. The principle is exactly the same. Now, we can find the absolute uncertainty directly from the data set. The rule that we are going to use to find the absolute uncertainty is that the absolute uncertainty can be approximated. So what I'm going to write over here is that our absolute uncertainty is approximately equal to half the range. So is approximately equal to half of the range. If you are having troubles remembering what the range is, remember the uh, range is the difference between your smallest value and the your highest value. So in this case, let's find our range. So our range in this case is so our high, highest value is 0.42 millimeters and from that we're just going to take away 0.39 millimeters and that's going to give us a range of values of 0.03 millimeters so our so half of that means that we can approximate our absolute uncertainty so let's just write that down our absolute uncertainty is going to be half of that which is 0 0.03 divided by 2 which is going to equal to 0 0.015 millimeters Okay, folks, so this was just a quick video, just to recap, if you're given a data set, you can approximate your absolute uncertainty directly from that data. Your absolute uncertainty is approximately equal to half the range. The range is your the, the difference between the highest value and the smallest value. And in this case, your range is 0.03 millimeters. You divide it by two and you get um, an approximation for your absolute uncertainty to be 0.015 millimeters. Okay, folks, so hopefully that makes sense. If there are any questions, feel free to drop a